Hi everyone. Thank you so much for coming over to my channel. Make money blog. Make money online blog. Now I'm doing a whole video. Uh, this is I went a bit berserk on a cardboard cell couple of weeks back and recently I I was a bit lazy did not go to any car boot so I did not put up any listing for one or two weeks so I decided to do a video so this is what I managed to pick up um, as you can see all most of the trainers here are Nike and Converse and Nike Jordan. So that was a good haul. All, all, you know, this amount of, you'd be thinking, sure, there's so much, I mean, I can open up a, a uh, offline store. So I decided, you know, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up a couple of weeks back. Um, now some of them are very interesting um, trainers, most of them are, now this, I don't know the size of this ones. maybe be looking at 10, 11, something like 12, size 12 there, again larger size, and in the far end we have a few Air Force Ones, yeah, and Jordan. Tequila Converse, and this is very interesting pair of well, I don't know. I need to. I think yeah, I need to clean it up a bit, a bit did all a little bit of dirt and take a little. Now, I've already sold a pair of all black Converse. Now this is quite interesting. This is a leather pair. But um, interesting. The thing with this is the lace is sort of tangled up. So I need to probably do something or get another pair of lace, I guess. And another, another pair of uh, Jordan, uh, Jordan here. Let's go back a bit. Um, most of this now these this pair I've sold one or two pairs before, so I I roughly know. But I'm still new to selling shoes, so I'm used to getting you know I. I'm still learning the names because there's so many names, you know. And these shoes have so many sh names on them. So I'm still trying to figure out what, what's what, what's not. So hopefully I should get there slowly. So that is why I have not mentioned any names. What, what I'm mentioning is just air nights and things like this. But I'm selling well, you know. It's, it, it, it's, these are... These are going good, you know. So, now this is a very interesting pair of um, cozy boot. It's almost perf perfect in all condition, you know. It's like it's the stall I picked it up from. They told me it's, it's brand new. It looks brand new, but the thing is. Um, I don't even know. I need to do with this research on this company. I never heard of the company before. Maybe one of these. It's called Marion Galleries. Marion Gallery. I'll look it up. And it's size European size 41. So I need to do with this research on this to find out what size, what's the uh, UK version of that. So yeah, it's been a. It's been a good, interesting haul, this one. So, um, you know, if you're thinking of starting on eBay or online store, I hope some of these videos will may help you a bit. Most of these trainers, I pay between four quid to eight 
The maximum I tend to pay is eight pound. I do not go beyond that. So that is my range of prices. I will pay between four pound to eight quid, eight pound. I hardly go beyond that. And if I can get a bit cheaper than that, fantastic. But it's very difficult sometimes, you know, you have to knock them, ha hustle, hackle them down, and it does not work sometimes. And the, the most common question I ask, I get to hear when I'm in car boot sales or places such as like this, uh, the vendors always tend to say, look, I'm, I'm, uh, they ask for a price, and they will turn down and say, look, I can get much more than on eBay. And my answer to that, if you can get much more than eBay, why are you sitting in a car boot sale? Why not go and sell online? You know, if you can do that, so why are you coming in a car boot sale? And people think it's, it's punky dory, it's so easy to just come, start loading up photos and pictures and you start selling on online. It doesn't work. Life is not that easy. You know, it doesn't work like that. It takes years and years of practice knowing what to do, how to do it. There's so much process involved before you can shift a product. And once you start shifting it, people trust you, you can make good living out of it. So some people to say, do you actually make money online? Yes, there's money to be made. There's tons of money to be made. But you must know what, the, what you're doing. When I started last year, year back, I struggled. I didn't know what to buy. So I was buying stuff that I, don't even, I, I didn't even need. Um, and I'll give you an example. Now, here's the example. I picked up this uh, car seat. Now, it's been sitting there for the last five months. I never bothered to put it up. Now, as you can see, it's a brand name. But I can't be bothered. You know, I need to put it in a washing machine. The, the, the pads, you know, these pads in the washing machine and clean it up and put it as... I find too much hassle, you know, like, it's too much work. I guess I will have to put it up, you know, since I bought it for, uh, nobody's going to believe how much I paid for it. I paid two quid for it. So I better list it. And another thing I've noticed, you know, you, you probably uh, see my, watch my previous videos where I used to clean them, strainers up very, you know, you spend hours and hours cleaning them up using, um, you know, um, yeah, I used to use, spend hours using baking soda and doing bits and pieces and putting in a bowl and mixing it up and cleaning it up, cleaning trainers and sticking in a washing machine and washing them and and listing it. So it's so much time consuming and you know end of the day if you sell it well you pay four quid and if you can turn that trainer into 30, 30, 35 quid then it's worth it. But when you waste so much time and you end up selling it for between 15, 20 quid it's not worth the hassle. So now I'm deciding you know, probably I don't have to do, I'm going to stop doing so much cleaning because end of the day, you are selling second-hand stuff. These are second-hand. These are used. And I know you want to, I mean, the more clean you sell, the more better you sell. So I do understand that. And I appreciate that, you know, that it looks good. And you can get a cheap, higher price for it. So, um, next video I probably do how to clean, how do I clean my trainers and things like this, another video on another time. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. If you have any comments or you want to know how, please write in the description below. And this is a new channel. I've just started making money online blog. I'm going to start doing um, um, websites and blog sites. So don't get disappointed to just see one or two videos. So please make sure you click the like button, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and please, please um, go and 
check my stores up. I will leave a link behind. I will link. I will leave a link underneath. Please check my stores up. And if you like something that you interests you, make me an offer. Send me an offer through my email, and I, I will look at it. I consider it no problem. You know, you just don't look and say something like you know you want to, you you are looking to buy something and you think oh it's too expensive. No, send me an offer. I will leave my email address down there, the, 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 the business email address. Just send me an email and I look into your offer, no problem. You know, and buy with confidence. Look at my feedbacks over the years, look at it. You know, just gauge it for a few minutes. I, I'm taking this business seriously and I want you to be buy with confidence. Because I spent 20 years of my life in a restaurant trade, so I do understand about customer care and customer service. Every business needs customers. Without the customers, you don't have business. Simple as. So, please, please, click the like buttons. And even if you want to help me out, there may be a link there, click it. Help me out a bit. Because I need all the help I can get. Thank you so much. And I hope everybody has a good pickup. Take care, everyone.